Hello friends, this video on integrals part 26 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 25. So till now what we have learned, we have learned how to convert a complex integrand into simpler integrand by one as we have learned using substitution. The other approach we have learned is by formula, trigonometric formula, trigono formula. The other approach we have learned is by partial function. So we know the ready-made formula of this form and by root x square plus a square. This kind of formula we know, integrand ready-made formula. We convert a complex integrand with these formulas and find, try to find the uh, integral. Now let's understand a new method called partial fraction. What we do in this, in this method? So if I have a polynomial, a rational function is defined as ratio of two polynomials in p by q form, right? And the degree of p is less than the degree of q. Then the function is called proper, else it is called improper. That is, this guy should have, let's suppose, x square plus 3x form. This guy should have x cube plus 4x cube. So the degree of this, if you see, is here 3, this is 2. This is okay. This is okay. Perfectly fine. This is proper. If it is other way around, for example, it is x cube plus 2x plus 1 by x square. Degree is 3, degree is 2. This is called improper form. So if it is improper form where you have the degree in the numerator is more, right? Then I can convert this into proper form by division. For example, this guy, if I divide this with x square, right, this I'll, I'll convert this guy into proper form. So I'll get something. I'll get x plus 2 by x by this guy, right? If I divide, actually. And if you see, these are all uh, my, uh, this guy is uh, improper, this guy is a proper, and this guy is some. Uh, what do you call this is not a rational number right it's just a function it's just an integral so I convert this guy improper guy to a proper guy the crooks here is if you're confused with proper and improper just understand the degree of numerator has to be less than degree of denominator. If it is not the case, then I keep dividing till I get this has higher degree. That's how the rational number, rational number if you see is like 1 by 3 if you see. If you see 3 is more than 1, 3 by 1 is generally not called rational number. It is actually 3 by 1, but this is also a rational number part, but generally our convention or the moment I think of rational number, I think of these kind of numbers where the denominator is more. So here also we try to convert this number uh, or, or rational functions in such a way that it is in the proper way. That is the denominator has higher degree, right? So if it is reduced to proper and then we can integrate easily. So the pattern we have. So if you see this guy is a form px plus q by x minus a into x minus b. So this guy has degree 2 and this guy has degree 1. So what I'm doing is I'm converting this guy in the form of partial fraction because this, this kind of thing we have done using partial function also where we converted this guy into a into derivative of this plus b and then we found it. One more way is you convert in this fashion a by x minus a plus b by x minus b. This one example if you see this is by x minus a square I convert in this fashion a by x minus a plus b by x minus a square. If it is of this form I convert this into a by x minus a x minus b x minus c. If it is x minus a square here this is x minus a x minus a square Similarly, this one, if you see, this guy is not further factorized. So, my partial fraction will be of this value a x minus a 
plus here it will be b x plus c y because it is not x minus a form it is x minus a into x minus b form right this is of degree 2 since this is of degree 2 i say b x plus c here this is the general form general formula you can say please understand this once again if it is of p x plus b q form where you have in the denominator x minus a into x minus b where obviously a is not equal to b I convert in this fashion a by x minus a plus b by x minus if it is p x plus q by x minus a whole square form then I say x minus a and this is x minus a square if this this form x minus a x minus b x minus c then I say like this a by x minus a b by x minus c c by x minus c if I have this form x minus a square x minus b then I say x minus a and x minus a square and this is x minus b. And if it is this form where a x, x square plus b x plus c is not factorizable, then I can say x minus a into uh, this is x minus a and this is b x plus c by x square plus b x plus c. So that is the formula or this form we have to keep in mind. And with this, let's try to solve a few questions. So this one, if you see, this is x minus a into x minus b form, right? So I'll write the whole thing as a by x minus a is this, b by x minus b is this. This is what I'll write. And let's find the value of a and b. So with this, this is nothing but x plus 1, x plus 2, a into x plus 2 plus b into x plus 1. We solve this further, this becomes x into a plus b plus 2a plus b. And this guy is equal to x, y Because if you compare the uh, numerator at both sides, denominator is same, right? So if you compare these two, you get this guy is equal to x. So if we compare these two equations, I can see that a plus b is equal to 1. I'll write here. And 2a plus b is equal to 0 because there is 0 part here. When you solve these, you get, you subtract this, you get a is equal to minus 1 and b is equal to, a is equal to minus 1, b is equal to 2 because b is 1 minus a. So b is 1 minus minus 1, that is 2. So I got the value of a and b. So I can say that this guy, integral of x by x plus 1 into x plus 2 dx is nothing but minus 1 by x plus 1 plus 2 by x plus 2 integral dx. Correct. And this is nothing but you integrate individually. So minus 1 into 1 by 1 plus x dx plus 2 outside dx by x plus 2. And this is nothing but minus 1. This becomes log of 1 plus x. Log of 1 plus x plus 2 into. This becomes log of x plus 2. Log of x plus 2. If you take 2 this side, this becomes here like this. Plus and cross. And if you combine everything, this is nothing but x plus 2 whole square by 1 plus and there is a minus. How oh, I got this? Because this is minus, so it comes down. And this is square, x plus 2 square, so it comes here. And there is minus. So very simple, just by using the partial fraction method, I found that this is of this form, where I have to convert this into a by x plus 1 plus b by x plus 2 form. I found the value of a plus b in this directly found the equation. Let's take one more example. 3x minus 1 by x minus 1, x minus 2, x plus. Here also if you see, I have to convert this guy into x minus 1 plus b by x minus 2 plus c by x minus 3 form. Let's find the value of a, b and c. This becomes x minus 1, x minus 2, x minus 3, a into x minus 2, x minus 3. 3 plus 
b into x minus 1, x minus 3, x minus 1, x minus 3, plus c into x minus 1, x minus 2, x minus 1, x minus 2. So this is what I get. So if you solve this further, if you solve this further, or I need not solve actually, so this guy is equal to this guy, right? So to find the value of a, b, and c, to find the value of a, b, and c, the trick here is, I need not solve. What I can do, I can put the value of x equal to 2, let's suppose. So this guy and this guy will go up, right? Only this guy will be remaining. So that way I can put the values and find the values of a, b, and c. So let's put the x equal to 1 here first. x equal to 1 I put, so this equation becomes, a into 1 minus 2, 1 minus 3, plus b into, this is 0, c also 0, b into 0, plus c into 0, and this is equal to 3 into 1 minus 1, 3 into 1 minus 1, correct? So what I get here is, a into the minus 1 into minus 2, right? That is, 2a is equal to 3 minus 1, that is 2, or I get a is equal to 1. I found the value of a. Let's put the value of x equal to 2. x equal to 2 I get. I get a into 0. Because this becomes 0. Plus b into 2 minus 1 that is 1 into 2 minus 3 minus 1. Plus c into c also becomes 0. This is equal to a is equal to 2. So 3 into 2 minus 1. 3 into 2 minus 1. So I get minus b is equal to 6 minus 5. 1 that is 5 or I get b is equal to minus 1. Similarly, I'll put x equal to 3. I'll get a into 0 because 3 minus 3 is 0 plus b into 0, 3 minus 3 is 0 plus c into x minus 1, that is 3 minus 1 is 2 and 3 minus 2 is 1. This guy is equal to 3 into 3 because 3x, 3 into 3 minus 1, right? Or 2c is equal to 9 minus 1 is 8 or I get c is equal to 4. So I got the values of a, b and c. Once I have the value of a, b and c, I can say that this guy is equal to nothing but, or I'll say integral of this guy dot dx is equal to nothing but a by x minus 1, that is 1 by x minus 1 dot dx plus minus 5 common because 5 by b minus 2, 1 by x minus 2 dx plus c by x minus 3 dx that is c 4 by x minus 3 dx. Correct? This is what I will get. This thing. How? a by x minus 1, a is 1, x plus 1, sorry, x minus 1. b by x minus 2, b is here, minus 5 I took out, x minus 2, plus c by x minus 3, c is 4 by x minus 3. So if you integrate, this is nothing but, this guy will become log of x minus 1, this guy will become log of x minus 2, this guy will become log of x minus 3, plus constant, that is my answer. Or if you want to make it better, this you can say log of x minus 1 into x minus 3 to the power 4, why? Because if this 4 just comes here, by, why by? Because minus x minus 2 to the power 5. So both are same plus constant. Both are same actually. I just playing with the log form. So that is how we find the integration of complex integrand by partial fraction. So if you see, this is very complex for me and I easily converted this into a simple form, very simple, very, very simple form actually using partial fraction. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.